。欢迎回来，再来看其他方面的消息。日前，一名伊利诺伊州年轻人因为吸电子烟，肺部严重受损，险些丢掉性命，目前依然在医院接受治疗。美国电子烟现状成为了多方关注焦点。由于是新兴事物，国内对其监管的力度非常有限。但日前，密歇根州已经成为全美第一个禁售电子烟的州。加州旧金山也于今年夏天宣布禁售电子烟。Became violently sick, violently sick, and it's just awful. Tracy Krasny says it started nearly a week ago. On Sunday, the family from Lincolnshire brought Brian to Northwest Community Hospital in Arlington Heights. They did a chest X-ray and、um, a CT scan. They found that he has double pneumonia,、uh, swollen pancreas. After talking with her son, Tracy learned he was vaping, doing something called dabs, an e-cigarette with THC in it. We never knew. We never knew. Now she is wondering if her son's illness could be related after hearing about more than two dozen other cases in Illinois. The latest numbers from the Illinois Department of Public Health show one death and 27 confirmed cases of respiratory illness with reported recent use of vaping, with an additional eight cases under investigation. There are additives and chemicals that can cause、uh, injury to individuals, and it's not yet known the full extent of the short and long-term effects of some of these. Illinois lawmakers have launched an investigation. Senator Dick Durbin wanting a ban on all flavored e-cigarette products, calling out the head of the FDA. He has the power today to ban the flavorings that are so attractive to to children in high school and middle school, and he refuses to do it. Today, the state of Michigan became the first to ban the sale of sweet, fruity, and menthol-flavored vaping products. As Tracy Krasny sits at her son's bedside, she's desperate for answers and action, so no one else's child has to go through something like this. We don't know. I mean, ten-year-olds could be doing it, thinking that it's cool because my older brother or sister does it, and they don't know what they're putting in their body. 法国足球女裁判史蒂芬妮·博拉伯成为了足球裁判界创造历史的人物。在七月份执法女足世界杯决赛之后，她在八月份成为了利物浦和切尔西的焦点之战——二零一九欧洲超级杯足球赛的主裁判。由此，她开创了一名女性裁判执法男性主要联赛决赛的先河。在采访中，他表示希望男女平权，打破屏障的趋势可以延续下去。I start as as player, so I start play、uh, in local division, and after that I want、uh, I wanted to know the the law of the game, so only just interesting of that, and I start to make some courses, and I、uh, at this time football was not women football was not so developed. That、uh, now, so I decided more in the referring part, and I think the choice was the right. When you started on your journey to becoming a referee, how many women were there? I think I was alone. Yeah, <laughs> I think yes. In the group of the men, I think I was alone. Yes. But your training was with a group of men. Yeah, always. Yeah, and I started refereeing in the men side. Did people question your decision? Did people ask you why you were there? Why you wanted to do it? Yeah, sometimes they ask it because、uh, they want to know and、uh, comment the decision. But、uh, I try to explain, but sometimes it's quite difficult to understand. If we would have played like they whistled, we would have won six nil. 
how it is. Did, were you aware there would be these barriers that you would be breaking down? Did you think of it like that? No, no, no. I didn't think about breaking barrier or make an history, just only doing my job and only that. Could you see a woman officiating the men's World Cup final? I think everybody, if everything can happen now. Honestly, do you think? Yeah, 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 sure. There is a woman who are appointed in the under 17 World Cup, so now everything is possible. Do you think there's an element of being a woman that helps you be a better referee? Yeah, but perhaps uh, in the management of the players, sometimes it's better when you, you can manage it uh, without conflicts. Because perhaps some men, it's difficult men to men to, to find the, the right answer. But sometimes with the women, I can feel it with some players, it's quite more easy to explain them or to, to have this kind of conversation.再来看娱乐方面的消息 虽然影片片名还未确定，但已定档2020年末，相信在2021年年初的颁奖季会大放异彩。Nicki Minaj is dropping the mic. The Grammy-nominated artist surprised her 20 million Twitter followers, tweeting, "I've decided to retire and have my family." Minaj's first solo album reached number one on the Billboard 200, and she's had 17 top 10 hits. You are a good man. Black Panther helped make 2018 a record year for representation. A University of Southern California study of the year's 100 top-grossing movies found 27 had leading characters from historically underrepresented racial or ethnic groups, and 39 of those films, including Crazy Rich Asians, had a female in a leading role. Both are significant increases over 2017. But even as major movies got more inclusive, just 1.3 percent of characters in those films were LGBTQ, and less than 2 percent were shown with a disability. I think it's great to get nominated. I think, I think they should just leave it at that. Oscar winner Matt Damon has his eye on the Academy Awards in 2021. Variety reports the star's untitled dramatic thriller has gotten the award season-friendly release date of November 6, 2020. Damon plays an oil rig worker who travels to France, where his daughter is falsely charged with murder. The roughneck has to cope with legal and language barriers as he tries to exonerate her. Sounds like Oscar material. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. The only real competition for It Chapter 2 this weekend is the horror film's own predecessor. The 2017 original debuted with a staggering $123 million. The longer, more expensive sequel, which continues the terror tale 27 years later, isn't expected to launch quite that well. Box office watchers predict an opening worth 85 to 90 million dollars or more, maybe even 100 million, easily enough to dominate the weekend box office. Hello. 27 years later, Pennywise the Killer Clown returns in It Chapter 2. It's me, the Losers Club has officially begun. The members of the Losers Club, who've grown up, moved away from Derry, Maine, and tried to forget, returned to town to face the menace together. We didn't stop it. Pennywise. The clown. We 
can't let it happen again. The stars found different ways to prepare for the sequel. I listened to the audio book for this movie in particular. It's 40 hours long, it's read by Michael C. Hall, and it's incredible. It really brings you into the world of dairy. Yeah, it was great. And I just watched that first movie and then just ran with it. <laughs> I read the book when in high school. Um, and uh, before the, before I got the, uh, once I got the role, I read the book again twice, and then I listened to the audio book about five times. I kept it on repeat, and my wife was after a while. She was like, "You need to turn that off." For 27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Thank you for watching.